Greetings, star citizens. Are you struggling to get it in the hole? Can't just find that right spot. Do you keep leaving skid marks on the landing pad? Does that box look way too tight? Do you suck at landing your spaceship? But instead, you want to perform a landing like that. Well, look no further. We are here to help. In Alpha 3.23, changes have been made regarding master modes and proper use of the landing gear. When vector landing, you turn on decoupled mode, which will allow your ship to fly at a certain direction, marked with an indicator. This will allow you to rotate your ship into any direction, without changing the course of the ship while landing. This can result into smooth landing like you see on the footage here. With that out of the way, I'll now show you the settings I prefer when landing with vector modes. In the game settings, you want to make sure that proximity assist is disabled. This causes your ship to slow down when nearing collision and can intervene with a proper landing. Next to that, you want to make sure the space brake engages boost is enabled so that the space brake will be much more effective. You want to have the velocity indicator to always on to make sure that you can always see the direction in which your ship is going. The first thing you'll need to do is align your ship right above the hangar and target the centre of the landing pad with your crosshair. You'll need to build up some thrust in order to enable decoupled mode. This will allow your ship to go into the aim direction without adding any more thrust to it. Once you've applied some thrust, you can enable decoupled with the standard key bind as Alt-C, after which you want to completely refrain from applying more thrust. This will prevent the ship from moving off course. After this, you can look into any direction now, without changing the course of the ship. Once you have a closer distance to the landing pad, you want to release your landing gear, which in 3.23 will significantly slow your ship down to a minimum speed. When really close to the ground, apply a bit of speed brake in order to throw a smooth touchdown. Make sure not to apply too much space brake or too early, as this will make your ship to a full stop when you're still above the landing pad. In this case, you'll need to manually push some thrust downwards, which you want to avoid while vector landing. When landing on a surface pad with a large ship like the Reclaimer, make sure to time your VTOL mode and landing gear correctly and apply the space brake at the right time. This may take some practice at first. On the landing zone, the same technique is applied for when landing on a space station hangar, only this time, be aware of any atmospheric effects.
practice well, you might even be able to perform a 180 degree turn while deploying your landing gears. If you like this video please consider to like and subscribe to help us grow our channel. If you want to join our organisation you can join our discord which is in the link of the description. We'll also be able to do personal vector landing trainings for those who want to join us.